your seat so far up? Uh, you know why? Because when I have it back like this, uh -huh. there's a lot of gut. Oh, and okay. And I noticed that the other day. Even yeah. though there's not a lot of gut. There's not a lot of gut, but it's it just the angle that makes it appear. Yeah, it looks like I'm all gut. Yeah, like you so I'm going to start doing this. By the way, do you remember when we were on the road and what you did to me? <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Are you maintaining situational awareness? I like to keep my my chest bone against the truth. I'm sorry, my mother and my family poisoned me because when we were kids and even to this day when we're on family car trips, our biggest joy in life was playing tricks on my dad. He'd get out of the car. We always, it was just a rule. You had to adjust his seat or his mirrors or the steering wheel or something. Poor and then the best guy. was when you do it all. You put the seat up, you bring the visor down, you pull the steering wheel out, you adjust all the mirrors, and then you just sit there and wait. And then my dad does, his typical is act as if it's totally normal. Which you did the same thing. Well, I didn't know what else because I didn't want to give you the satisfaction. Of exactly, I know. So my dad will just go, very funny. Yeah. Another classic, if you're looking to jazz up your relationship, when your significant other gets out of the car, you just move the car. <laughs> How far is he going? <laughs> you think you're slow. It's funny. I do. Funny. I do. Kids pipe down, dad's mad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>